Well, Pat and Jeff, the new protocols are in place for the final six days of racing here. Now, the new uh, review team will actually determine whether or not the horses are fit enough to race. We thank you so much, Father. A circle of prayer for the Santa Anita racetrack after two more horses were put down last weekend, bringing the total to 29 since Christmas. Thank you for keeping us safe keeping us protected. Nearly two dozen employees and neighbors came to pray. I believe that that's our last hope. You know, everything that's been going on since since December, you know, one horse is always too many, you know. Uh, but why so many now, I don't know. But I do know that Santa Anita has been trying. Anna Makinoff has worked at the park for 37 years. We are a family here. A lot of people love this track. They love their jobs. And they even, you know, love the managers who are trying. The California Horse Racing Board and the Stronach Group that own Santa Anita Park have agreed to an enhanced safety review with horses at the park. The agreement came after Governor Gavin Newsom weighed in on the recent horse deaths. Now a five-member team made up of veterinarians and stewards will review the horse's medical, training, and race history. In a statement, the track owner said in part, every member of the review team must agree that the horse is not at an elevated risk of injury in order to clear a horse to race. One dissenting member of the review team can prevent a horse from racing. This is a very historical place, and we're backing everyone that works here and the jockeys and everybody. Bill Corsello and his wife Tina live nearby and came to pray with the others. Make a statement that we're, we want this to go on. We don't want the place shut down. PETA released a statement that reads in part, there should be no more racing anywhere in California until the district attorney's office completes its investigation. But PETA agrees that there's a need for independent veterinarians who are not part of the, quote, drug them and race them culture of private veterinarians and trainers at many tracks. And while 29 horses had to be euthanized since December, our David Goldstein reported exclusively that another 36 horses had to be euthanized between January of last year and December, bringing the total to 65 horses euthanized since the beginning of last year. Reporting live at the Santa Anita Park, Amy Johnson, CBS2 News.